Another night of five hours of sleep. How terribly sad is that? And we get to go fix the the what? I need more cups. Did you get it? Did you get it fixed? <laughs> yeah, it's ready to be remounted to the Land Rover. Hopefully yeah, we worked till 1:30 again last night welding. This time we I got home thinking ah it'll be another early night or it'll be an early night for once. Got home at like 11:30. Yeah, we were, were welding and bending stuff until what about well, one and then said to make sure nothing burnt down so we sat there and watched it cool for a while <laughs> yeah. and then we dipped it in that bucket to cool it down well oil got in there and that's the bucket we use to wash windows nice so that'll be yeah probably really good to end it. Yeah. Last night, he was where? In between those two big cattail sloughs? Yeah. Running at full speed, in the dark, no Giver. lights on backwards. Giver. And this cylinder snapped this yoke off on that side. Down she went onto the road, dragging it. Terrifying, <laughs> terrifying. Look at the zerk, the zerk is gone. Broke the zerk off inside, oh good grief. So they brought the uh, cylinder home and till 1.30 in the morning we were bending and if you were on Instagram you got to see how fun that was of an experience. But uh, we got her hopefully as good as new. So <clears throat> the good news is the hammer and punch I left, Doug took them. <laughs> so we are gonna have to maybe use my ball hitch. <laughs> Whoa! Overshot. Boy, that worked great. Oh, there's washers that go on. <laughs> What's the issue with that? Oh, you have a pin on that one? I took it out of the other one. Used the wrong pin, too. It's okay. You don't have to take it all the way out. I learned a secret. Just tap that pin down a little bit, and you can usually walk the washer up. Oh. Hold on, hold on, one more. There's two. It's two on this side, three on the other. Well, that's just strange. Oh boy, now we gotta twist it so that we can hit. Balancing. Okay, hook up the lines so we don't squirt any more oil out and control it via tractor. They're beating us. They're ahead of schedule. Losing. So he's jumping in the tractor and we're gonna try and suck the cylinder in so that we can get the pin in. Let's hope it works. This is not going well. I knew we should have done this by hand, Eric. There we go, finally, finally. We're put back together. Let's hope that that don't break off again. Eric, I have bad news about your ball. It really scarred it up. It's almost as if it isn't made to be a hammer. Yeah, I don't know. That's what it said when I bought it. <laughs> right there is the greaser that's broke off. It's gonna be tough to grease that. I imagine you've been greasing this by the daily. We'll have to use the needle greaser to get into that little hole now. <laughs> daily, I haven't been in this thing daily. Oh my. I've only got 300 acres of soybeans left to plant and it's like you've rolled for like a half a day. Well, I forget about the night that you went all night long rolling, so you got me there. Mm -hmm. Caught me. I land rolled more that night than what you got left planted, so. Yeah, that's true. All right, he's fixed up. Hopefully it holds. I would think it will. The weld that it was factory weld was not good at all. It was previously broken multiple times. You could see the age of the cracks on the weld. 
wasn't much holding it when it did break. So I think he should be good to go. It's supposed to possibly rain this afternoon, but I don't know. We'll see. We gotta keep it moving here. I gotta go get some seed and roll into next project, I guess. And the next project might be breakfast because man, he was so amped up to get out, get going. I gotta go, I gotta go. He wouldn't even let me eat my eggs and toast. What a guy. was Steve. Steve thought that I was Eric. He's giving me the, what? You're late again. <laughs> Actually, I was the late one this morning and I'm living at the farm. It's just so difficult to wake up. Five hours of sleep for the last ten days. It's really catching me fast. There goes Digger 2. Or maybe I should call him Digger 1, but he's 2 because he's slower. <laughs> Big one's leaving the yard. I think we're down to four fields left for them to dig. So they might get close to done today. So I gotta run seed down to dad and then we get to throw bags. I think we got 24, 36 bags, something like that to throw and they're 60 pounders. So it's time to loosen it up. Hate bags. See what I mean about uh, clearance issues? Oh my, we were dragging. I was concerned I was gonna get spun out. We made it though. Gonna have to leave with a bit more speed. What is dragging? There's something else dragging. Oh yeah, that'll be good for it, huh? Dragging the airbag. I like the low trailer for workability, but boy, is that a dangerous deal for getting hung up. So this is the farm last fall that we rented. It's about 200 acres, new, new to us here. Pretty decent, I did a ton of ditch work out here, just cleaning ditches and widening them out. But yeah, worked up really nice. Got some hog manure on it. Should be some good corn, I hope. day corn loaded for those of you wondering we go from 101 day to down to 94 days kind of the range of corn that we plant this is 97 day going in if anyone's curious it is April 5th today no that's not right it ain't April 5th good night it's May 5th today if anybody is wondering
Anyone bring some weenies? Marshmallows? That is hot. Recycling. Well, I'm off to uh, get some bean seed and start a new YouTube video. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.